Ah, and I need a lot more of that. We're back. Yes, it's still 2020 and no, I'm not retiring. Outside of it being dark already at 4 p.m. here and my lighting likely being a bit off because of this, hopefully we're done with the bad news this year. Gearing up for 2021, which is going to be the best year ever, as we all deserve that, I'm gonna start by throwing a quick little cottage cheese cheesecake your way. It's simple, made to be a single serving, cheap, and super easy to make. So let's just jump right into it. All you need for this one is a food processor. No mixing bowls means less time cleaning up. Add into it one large whole egg, half a cup of cottage cheese, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of your favorite sweetener, one scoop of your favorite flavor protein powder, and one tablespoon of a complementing flavor Greek yogurt. Process all of those together until smooth. You can now mix in nuts, chocolate chips, or anything else you want, but I'm opting out of that today. Now, you have a couple options here. No crust and less carbs, or crust and more carbs. Simple. For a crust, all you have to do is mix together some graham cracker crumbs and a little butter. Bake it on 375 for five to seven minutes, or until it looks done like this. Yes, just regular graham cracker crumbs and some butter. These single serving cheesecakes are small enough that you're really not adding that many calories to the recipe by using your crust. Remember, everything in moderation. Whether you're using a crust or not, follow by pouring your mix into a pan or something oven safe that's the size you want and baking it on 325 for around 20 to 25 minutes. Depending on how small or big your pan is, it could take more or less time. Take it out, let it sit, and throw it in the fridge for a few hours. That's it, you're done. You can double or triple this recipe to make a few servings at a time and switch up the variations by using different flavor powders and yogurt. Another tip I'll throw at you here is that you can top this with things like sugar-free pudding or jello, pumpkin, healthier pie fillings or make your own with fresh fruit, protein frostings to add more protein to the recipe, nut butters, whipped cream, and much more. Think outside the box, and this recipe will never get old. With that said, I hope you guys like this quick recipe. There's another one coming for you in a couple days. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Drop a comment below with your favorite cheesecake. Don't forget to check out theproteinchef.co for more variations and nutritional information. And of course, stay healthy.